Welcome to Scenic Byway 12. Pretty cool. Yeah, 124 miles. Through a dramatically varied landscape. We've driven it before. We have, and it's beautiful. Now we get to drive it again. So we're here. Yeah. And we get to go through this thing. Sweet. And we'll go down here. Grace Canyon is somewhere here. And we'll carry on. And then we'll go through here. And then we'll get here. Welcome back to Bryce Canyon, Blair. Thanks. How long has it been since we've been here? March of 2018. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. It was chilly then too, <laughs> but on the other side of the season. Yeah. Snow piled up everywhere. Yep. Yeah, we just happened to be going down Byway 12 on our way to Escalante. We've been there too, but we didn't stay. No, so we're going to go stay for a few days, but figure we'd take some... Take a detour. Detour. It's only three miles off of Highway 12 to come in the gate here. Yep. Uh, pretty cool place though. Let's go back in the visitor's center. Trilosaurus. What do you call it? A trilosaurus. No. A swimmy alligator whale thing. Look at this middle teeth. Middle teeth? The middle row of teeth on the skull. Well, if the first row doesn't get you in, you can see it here too. Sorry, night. Do you feel inspired? I'm about to be. Hazards of rough terrain. I think we can uh, manage to miss that. I hope so. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good. What did you learn at the visitor center? Oh, lots of things. I have three different brochures and two different maps. That's good. One thing Blair loves, information. Information. 
Guess who had a Clemson sweatshirt on when I walked in? Somebody lives right there because they got a South Carolina tag. Yeah, she's wearing a Clemson, a orange Clemson sweatshirt. And I was like, oh, go Tigers. Are you a Clemson fan? She was like, yeah. Part of her family went there. Everything. Super big fans. Spot number 14. Good morning, Sunshine. Good morning. How are you? Good. How was your trip down the long, dusty road? It wasn't bad. What are we going to see? Some slot canyons. The narrow. Extremely narrow. If you have trouble fitting your body between these hooks, do not proceed to the speedy belt. No hurry, that's cool. You may become stuck and need rescue. <laughs> Look how many people have tried it because there's a hole in the ground. Not a problem. You made it. What do you think of these? Candies. So far, so good. Yeah. And we haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet. No, I know. Yeah. So, um, bring good shoes if you come down here. Yeah. They're so. I'm still flabbergasted about the state of Utah. <laughs> it's so diverse in so many ways. And everywhere you go, there's some more new place. We are. Not sad that we have the Airstream, but if we were tent camping or if we were van camping or something like that, man, we could just be out here sleeping. Yeah. And hanging out. And there's so many spots in the West that are BLM that you can just hang out. So uh, if you are adventurous and just want to go off the middle of nowhere, get you a little van, hang some hammocks in the back, get you a little space heater, and poop in a bucket. Who cares? Come see all these things because they're awesome. And Piper loves it too. Oh gosh. <laughs> wow. So neat. It's pretty slick getting up here, but this canyon is cool. Going down backwards, because I don't know. I mean, you do what you feel comfortable with. Appreciate it. This is what I feel comfortable with. Copper, you being so good. Yeah, being good. 
Are you okay if I hold on to you? Yeah. I would prefer you do. Oh, I got to find another hole. But I got to get lower up to here. That's so bad. Here. It's as bad as I thought it would be. It is cool though. Nice. Cool. Parkour. So peekaboo is what we just did. I went some of the way up it. You went part of the way up it. Yep. I chickened out. There's no way Pepper could make it. No, she so could not have. Bring a pup down here. Yeah. I can't take that trail. You could do probably the the loop, but you would have to go back around the loop. Unless you have one of those harnesses, you can lower them down on. Which I guess we could have made out of this if we had to. Yeah. Intervest. Did you, you get a stick? Where's your stick? I'm out of breath. That's a steep climb. Yeah. You would never know all those canyons are right down there. How much sand is in this shoe? And in the sock. Idaho potatoes. <laughs> but then this looks really good. What is it? Chinachi. <laughs> when we were kids, we were so poor. We couldn't have hamburger helper. We just had helper. Oh, God. I said it was cold and the vent came on. <laughs> good <laughs> <Like that. laughs> What you making, Blair? That's right. That's some serious French fry cutter you got there. Easy peasy. Blair and I have been sitting out here enjoying the, the fire in our solo stove and the, some warm beverages courtesy of Element. In full disclosure, I am an ambassador for the brand Element and Element E. And it's a wonderful product that I've used for a number of years now. It's a salty beverage mix that I have daily and, and a myriad of things. It starts with some warm stuff in the morning with coffee or hot water and ends in the evening typically with something warm and hot water. And in the middle of the day, I'm drinking uh, various bottles full of water of a variety of flavors that it comes. But what I would like to offer all of you is a free box of the wintertime chocolate medley. It comes with 10 stick packs each of the regular chocolate salt, the caramel chocolate salt, and the mint chocolate salt. And they're all fantastic. We are such huge fans. Last last year around this time, they came out with the mint chocolate. Chocolate's been around and stays out throughout the year, but the mint chocolate is only for the holiday season time frame, and it can replace all of those sugary, Dowgy ingredients and things like that that you get from most of your coffee shop. Element is a great substitute for all of those things. And if you would like a free box, it's a simple thing. The first two adventurers who send us an email via the contact us link on our website and give us your name and address, we're going to get a box mailed to you so you can try this box for free. It has to be put in something warm. Uh, one of my favorite things to do in the mornings is just make a cup of coffee. 20 ounce cup of coffee, one stick pack of one of the flavors in it with a little bit of whipping cream, and I go about my day. Many folks have come up with all sorts of recipes for these things, and I think it's fantastic. One of those is a salty Americano. Another thing I've seen folks do is make a peppermint mocha. I've also seen folks make a chocolate chai, which is really great. One of my favorite things that I've tried recently is a chocolate smoothie. Another wintertime favorite, one of Blair's favorites, is a raspberry hot chocolate. We haven't tried this one yet, but there is an option for a dessert. It's called a chocolate caramel drizzle. Anyway, if you want your free box of Element Chocolate Medley, again, send us an email. Contact us via our website, 13adventures.com. 
click on the contact list link is right there and the first two are going to get a box mailed to you for free if you ever see us out somewhere and you want to try a flavor i always have flavor to give away so please let us know we'll gladly give you some to try if you are someone who works out if you're someone who sweats if you're someone who's ketogenic if you're someone who just wants to replenish the things you drink every day with something better and more healthy for you element is a wonderful replacement for anything that you drink today enjoy the remainder of this highway 12 video getting ready to get on the road this morning again and it's um i think it's 20 degrees outside so we're gonna blow out the water line got my air compressor here this hose already has the city water inlet on it hook up the air compressor to the battery it's here to the compressor and turn it on Very simple. You can also use antifreeze to do this exact same process. Um, I, I'm not opposed to antifreeze in any way, shape, fashion, or form. I just prefer to do it with air because it's a temporary thing. If we were storing our rig for some weeks or months on end, I would 100% use antifreeze. So, <laughs> the breakfast of champions. Warmed up. Mashed potato. Instant mashed potato. I was cold. Oh my I lord. Needed something warm. Oh my lord. That's all we had. <laughs> I painted five of these myself. <laughs> Sweet. Wow. Yeah. Wow. This is so cool. If you're driving on Highway 12 through Utah, which everybody should make that drive once in their lifetime. There's a great spot uh, right on the edge of Escalante, south end of Escalante, called Yonder, Y-O-N-D-E-R, stayyonder.com. Uh, we just had a, they closed for the season, but Lynn's uh, general manager here, she took us around and showed us, they, there's 20-something 20 20 cabins. 20 cabins and probably 12 Airstreams. Uh, they're all older Airstreams, gutted and kind of renovated to be sitting stationary for a long time. All the old cars parked out there, so you go sit in the old car and you watch a movie at the drive-in theater. They have pools here, RV spots here. Their tagline is adventure for all, and I really think it's a wonderful place, but it's, so neat. it's really neat. The cabins are gorgeous. Yeah. And tiny and like, yeah. so well done. Yeah. So are the Airstreams. The Airstreams are very well done. Yeah, it's well. very, very cool inside. Yeah. So, um, very grateful to Lens for showing us around this morning, and thanks for taking the time. And we got to meet your pup too. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness, that was so good! <laughs> yeah, that was so good. Good manners. Again, we're blessed to meet awesome humans on the journey of our adventure. So we're gonna go get some gas and see what's the rest of the way north. Yeah.